Greetings all and welcome to Algo Fox Academy. In the last class, we learned in detail about normal distribution curve and standard deviation. Today, I am going to teach you the impact of Greek factors on option premium. Although today we are going to talk about very basics of option Greeks and how emotions and volatility can affect the stock prices. And after today's chapter, in the next class, we are going to talk about those complex formulas also in detail. So let's dive into my screen and understand the factors determining option premium. So in the basic class, we have already discussed the option pricing of in the money, at the money and out of the money calls and puts. If you remember from our basics of option module, that in the money is made up of intrinsic value and extrinsic value whereas at the money and out of the money both are made up of only extrinsic value now we also know that intrinsic value is nothing but the difference between current market price and strike price so intrinsic value is calculated but in the basics of option classes, if you remember, I've told that extrinsic value is based upon a complex mathematical formula called as Black's Scholes formula. It is now time to understand how the extrinsic value is determined, what is Black's Scholes formula and what are option Greeks in complete detail. In today's class, we are not going to go into formula or deep dive into the option Greeks, but understand why there was a need of option Greeks. We will understand in today's class that how option premium gets impacted by any kind of volatility or change in emotions or change in news around that particular stock. So let us take a small example to understand the concept of extrinsic value in complete detail. To give you very simple explanation, let us say there are two stocks X and Y. Let us say both the stocks are listed in FNO segment that is they are both having futures and options contract. Let us say the price of X stock is 200 rupees and the price of Y stock is also 200 rupees. Also let us say the lot size of X stock is 5000 and also the lot size of Y is 5000. Now if I have to ask you one very very basic question that 200 call of X stock is at 4 rupees. What is the value of 200 call of Y stock? Now, looking at the entire scenario, you would assume that the price of X and Y both are same, lot size is same. So, naturally, the value of 200 call for X stock and Y stock should be same, right? So, your answer might be 4 rupees. And if your answer is 4 rupees, then this is where the need of option Greeks comes into picture. You see, the value of option premiums of multiple strikes of two different stocks with similar price and similar lot size will never be same. And that means the value of 200 call of Y need not be 4 rupees. It can be much above 4 rupees or much below 4 rupees. There are multiple factors affecting the option price what are they let us look at them one by one now let us say today the price of x stock is 200 rupees today the price of y stock is also 200 rupees let us go six months in the past and let us say six months ago the price was 200 rupees for x and the price of Y is also 200 rupees. So six months ago, a stock was at 200 rupees and then cut to today, the value of the same stock is at 200 rupees. And six months ago, there was another stock which was also at 200 rupees and today also it is at 200. Then Y, 200 call of X is at four rupees and Y, 200 call of Y is not at four rupees. The answer lies in how the stock has traveled in these last six months. I am taking six months as an example, but usually while determining the option prices, we take last one year's movement into consideration. Let us say that this is how the stock would have moved in the last six months. It might have gone up maybe till 205 or 207, 
then gone down for few points then gone again by few points then might have been flat and then ending at 200 rupees so when i see the graph of last 6 months it kind of gives me a confidence that x stock has performed in a relatively stable way and hence selling 200 call can give me some profit if i'm having the bearish view for x stock let us see the movement of y stock in the last 6 months so in the last 6 months let us say it went up to 220 suddenly it dropped down to 170 again it came to 220 just 2 to 3 days then it again went down and then now it is at 200 now when i see this movement of y stock selling 200 call becomes extremely risky for me because this is a high volatility stock that means it can give a swing of 5 to 7% in matter of 2 to 3 days very very easily because this is what it has been doing in the last few months so if i have to choose between selling 200 call of x stock or 200 call of y stock naturally as an option seller 200 call of x would appear less riskier than 200 call of y and this is the reason if 200 call of x stock is available at 4 rupees premium 200 call of y stock will not be available at 4 rupees premium because if as a trader if i have to sell 200 call of such high volatility stock then i need to get better reward because i am exposed to a bigger risk and hence as an option seller when anyone sells a call or a put they check the volatility in the past and accordingly they will price their risk so in my case maybe 200 call of y stock will be at 8 rupees because if someone is selling 200 call of y stock they would expect a bigger reward because the risk here is higher and now what black scholes calculator and option greeks does is try to incorporate the fear factor of the trader the moment the volatility all of this in a mathematical model in our next class we are going to discuss why from 4 the price has jumped to 8 what are the main factors driving the price how volatility affects the option premium what are the greeks like delta gamma theta vega and their impact on option premium in complete detail the basic option greek class today was just to tell you that the price of option premium mainly depends upon volatility the human emotions the fear by which a trader buys and sells those premiums instantly and also few other mathematical fundas called as greeks so we're going to talk about all of them in detail understand the impact of each and every greek in detail in the next video so see you in the next class Thank you.